In this tutorial, we'll share some best practices for adding a Storyline block to a RISE 360 course. We'll begin in Storyline 360. Here we have a project consisting of two slides, one of which is a custom slider interaction. This type of interaction can't be built directly in RISE 360, and it also has narration, which is another feature not available in RISE 360. Knowing this will be imported into a RISE 360 course, I'm going to make a few decisions that will ensure it works seamlessly. One of these is to go to the player and disable the controls. I don't need the menu, glossary, notes, or resources tab to carry over, and the controls at the bottom are also unnecessary. Just select from the drop-down here to turn the menus and controls off. We'll be adding the navigation on the actual slide. In fact, let's go do that right now. On the first slide, I'll add a button with a trigger to jump to the next slide when clicked. This next step is optional, but if you want to make sure this block is completed before the learner proceeds in the course, add a complete course trigger at the end of your Storyline module. In this case, I'm adding it on layer 5 of the slider interaction. Next, publish the project to Review360. Back in RISE360, we'll insert a Storyline block. Select the project from Review360. You can adjust how big it displays from the formatting button here. Remember that we want this block completed before our learner progresses. We're going to add a continue button below this and before the next block. Now we can adjust the setting of that continue button and add a completion requirement. When we get to this part of the RISE 360 course, the Storyline part fits in seamlessly and the learner is now required to complete the interaction before moving forward. 